we are going to compare the total cost of ownership of different gas powered vehicles versus its comparable electric vehicle within the same category. So I'm going to compare sedans and hatchbacks, SUVs and crossovers, premium vehicles, and finally pickup trucks. The results are very clear and you're going to want to stick around until the end to see the outcome from each category comparison. So how much does it cost to own a Tesla or other electric vehicle compared to an equivalent gas powered car? Let's find out. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Some assumptions will need to be made and are relatively conservative to not skew the numbers. So we're going to assume eight years of ownership and driving 20,000 kilometers a year. Our calculation uses average gas prices from 2021, which is $1.35 per liter. But as we all know, the cost of gas has gone up to a national average of $1.70 per liter. So keep that in the back of your mind. If we actually use the national average of fuel in these calculations of $1.70 a liter, then the differences would be even greater. And if you own a Tesla or EV for longer than eight years, or if you drive more than 20,000 kilometers, or if gas prices remain above the 2021 levels, the savings of driving electric will be that much greater as well. A common refrain, however, is that buyers are worried about the sticker price of a Tesla or electric vehicle. But the point is a fair one. Not everyone has equal access to good credit or extra income. While analysis from Bloomberg has concluded that EVs should be cheaper to buy up front in five years without subsidies, Governments can help even the playing field in the meantime. This chart indicates the rebates across Canada, and it is important to note that the MSRP of the vehicle must be below $45,000 to qualify. There are a few notes I wanted to make before we get into the numbers. These are non-tangible factors of owning a Tesla or any EV for that matter, which make life much better and simpler. For one, you skip the gas station. Considering most charging is done at home, Tesla owners get to skip trips to the gas station altogether. That's one less errand to run for working families. Another thing is saving on fuel prices. Owning a Tesla also means never having to dread the sign outside that gas station. Insulate your wallet from the global geopolitics driving up fossil fuel prices. Saving on maintenance. EVs require less maintenance than gas cars. You'll never need another oil change again while other components like brakes last longer due to the technology they use, such as regenerative braking. And lastly, stretch your legs in style. With rest stops racing to re-image themselves for EV owners, an all-electric road trip could soon involve charging brakes complete with dog parks, log fires, and fitness centers. Though you won't be waiting long. With fast chargers, some EVs can charge to 80% in about 20 minutes. This is most especially true with Tesla's supercharging infrastructure, where you can pump in over a thousand kilometers of charge per hour. All right, the moment we've been waiting for. Let's see how the cars compare to each other in each of the categories. Sedans versus hatchback. In this case, a 2022 Chevy Bolt versus a 2022 Toyota Corolla. You can see in this graphic, the total cost of ownership is significantly more money on the gas version of a similar vehicle. In fact, it's about $20,000 more over the course of eight years. SUVs and crossovers. Again, in our second example, the difference is approximately $15,000 over the course of those eight years, which is approximately 27% more expensive on the gas vehicle. Now we're gonna to switch to my favorite, the premium vehicles. So a 2022 Tesla Model 3 versus a 2022 Lexus ES250. Just a note, a Tesla that was recently $53,000 before rebates in Canada is now only a few months later, almost $62,000. As a result of this higher cost, the Model 3 is for now no longer eligible to receive subsidies, except in the province of Quebec pickup trucks. Now you can see the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning versus the 2022 F-150 XLT Super Crew. There is very little savings going electric, but there is still some savings overall. 
In conclusion, ultimately, the road to clean energy was always the road to affordable energy. And there really is no time like the present to accelerate into that future as fast as possible, even if it means overcoming a few speed bumps. I really hope this video was useful and help you understand the true cost of owning a gas vehicle versus an electric vehicle. I encourage you to subscribe and watch my other videos covering similar topics about my 2021 Tesla Model 3. So until next time, enjoy driving your Tesla.